फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस एट रानाघाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया लेट अस ऑब्जर्व दिस मिनिमली एडिटेड वीडियो ऑफ फिकमल स्पीकेशन ऑफ अ कैटरैक्ट विद ग्रेट फोर न्यूक्लियर स्क्लेरोसिस दिस इज द मेन इंसेशन विद अ 2.8 मिलीमीटर स्टील केराटोम एट अराउंड 11:00 नाउ अ साइड पोर्ट इज मेड ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द मेन इंसेशन about 2.5 to 3 o'clock hours away. These incisions are mid-limbal and it includes some capillaries. Now the plan is to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. For that I use an air bubble. Beneath this air bubble I inject the dye. There should be uniform staining of the anterior capsule. The people has dilated quite well about 7 mm and if this dilatation remains throughout surgery we will not have any problem. Now the dye is washed out and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose that is HPMC is injected into the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is filled up with this visco. It is applied over the cornea at, and it improves visibility. Now with the help of a uh, uterate of forceps, the anticapsule is pierced, a capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around and an adequate size drexis of about 5.5 millimeter is done. In heart cataracts, we should never do a small rexis. It should be at least 5.5 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done and the nucleus is rotated. The antechamber is again filled up with HPMC. And now the phaco needle goes in. The phaco needle goes in with its tip, tip beveled down towards the nuclear mass. Some superficial lens matter is removed and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus for a distance and is chopped. This technique is called submarine chop. The nucleus is divided into four pieces and now each nuclear piece is subdivided into smaller pieces and emulsification of the pieces are carried out. Ultrasonic energy from the very beginning is set at 80 percent and it is linear. So whatever um, energy is required it can be controlled by foot switch. And now this hemineucleus is tilted and the two pieces are separated from each other and the piece is emulsified. Now during emulsification of the last piece, I go to FACO 3 mode where the vacuum is less about 300 and flow rate is also less about 30. Before the last piece, the vacuum is 400 and flow rate is 40 in this case. Ultrasonic energy is set at 80 percent. And now injecting some visco, the cortex is being cleaned by a 22 gauze, 23 gauze Simco cannula. The side port is wide enough about 1.8 to 1.9 millimeter to accommodate this 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. So the sub-incisional cortex can be 
removed going through the side port. We have only one side port, so either we have to use coaxial irrigation aspiration or this Simco cannula. Many surgeons think that Simco cannula should not be used in phaco surgery, but this is a very safe instrument. You can control the vacuum very nicely using the Simco cannula. And now I use the irrigating cannula of bimanual IA to polish the posterior capsule. This is hydro polish. The irrigating jet of fluid is directed towards the posterior capsule and the cannula is swept over the posterior capsule. And now the antechamber and the capsular bag is filled up with SPMC and a single piece monofocal hydrophobic aspheric intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. This is a sensor 1 IOL from Johnson and Johnson. No financial interest. But this is a very good lens, no glistening at all over the ears. Now the visco is nicely cleaned. I use Simco cannula as well as this bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli to remove the visco. I go behind the eye well. Irrigate the capsular bag nicely so that all the visco trapped between the eye well and the posterior capsule may come out. And now we are towards the end of the surgery. Just have to close the side port. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the side port. The stab wound is closed. And now, a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done by the Simco cannula, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will inspire you to do hard cataracts. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.